When we are working with a large data sets in Power BI, it is very obvious that we have to prepare multiple visuals in order to meet the client's requirement. And it is not possible to fit all the multiple visuals in one page. Therefore, we go and add multiple pages where we create multiple pages, multiple visuals and the report size is completely big. Now, when a client or a user wants to interact with the visual or if they would like to go from one page to another page, okay, from one visual to another visual, going it in a manual way is completely different. So what is the way that we can show it them in a very interactive and effective way as an expertise? Hi, I'm M. Asif Hussain from Know How Academy. What are we going to learn in this video? We are going to learn and understand how to create a button in Power BI, how to add bookmark in Power BI and how to enable the action to a button in Power BI. By the end of this video, you could able to learn and understand how to create and enable the action button to a button in Power BI desktop as well as how to add the bookmarks in order to be very effective with the visual in Power BI. So watch till the end. My dear viewers, here I have a data set. So in this, let me go and first select a column chart. So in this column chart, let me go and choose category in the X axis and I'll choose sales in the Y axis. Okay, so I have got a visual. So now what I'm doing, let, let me consider this as my particular home page. Okay, so I'll come to another page and here I'll go and create one pie chart where my pie chart is indicating region wise profit, how much I have achieved. Okay, so this let me consider that this is my profit page. Okay, so now I'll come to this home and now what I'm going to do, I'll go to insert and under insert, I'm going and adding the button. I'm adding a blank button here. Okay. So I'll get this button here. As you can see, it's just a blank box. So now here we have to do the formatting for this particular box. I'll go and change the background color for this one in order to make much more effective. Okay. So I have changed the background. Now I'll come to the button style and I'll mix, make it to the rounded rectangle. So I'll make it to a rounded rectangle. So let me consider the rounded corners so that that will be helpful. As you can see that we have got the rounded corners as well. So now in this, I'd like to add some text. So this text, let us consider, I would like to go to the profit. Okay. I would like to go with the profit. So I'll make it bold color here and I'll add the font color white so that it can be clearly visible. So something which is very interesting. Okay. So this is my profit button that I have created. Now, just creating a button is it sufficient no so we have to give some action to this particular button okay so what kind of action that we have to give but before creating an action there is one step that we have to do that is adding a bookmark so now what i'm trying to do is that let me click on this particular visual i'll go to view and i will add a bookmark here okay now i'm adding a bookmark now let me consider this bookmark and just rename this bookmark okay so let me consider sales uh, one. Okay. I'm just giving it name as sales one. All right. So now I'll come to another page. I'll select this particular visual and I will add another bookmark and this bookmark. I'll just rename it to profit profit one. Okay. So I have created two. Now in this particular page as well, what I'm trying to do, I'll come to insert. I'll go to button. I will add one more blank button. So in this blank button as well, what I'm trying to do, I'll go to the size and style and I will change the background for this one. So the background color, let me consider some this color. Then I'll just close this and I'll come to button style. I'll just change the style of it to rounded rectangle. Now I will add some text to it. Let me consider the text as a, a profit. Okay. Or let me consider this text as profit here. I'll make it bold. Okay, I'll increase the font size and I'll make it to white color. So this is something which is very interesting. All right. So I'll come back to my home page. Okay, so I am here in the profit. So when I am in the profit page, this is not profit. I would like to see I would like to see sales, which is in my previous page. So for that, let me just rename this one to sales. Okay, it's very interesting. Now what is happening is that now what's happening is that we have to create some action for this. So for this one, what I'm trying to do, I'll click on this profit 
and under profit we have when a button called action we have to enable this button called action so under this action i would like to go and make a bookmark okay bookmark for what or if you would like to go for a page navigation okay i would like to go for a page navigation when i click on profit so what i have to see i have to see the profit page okay profit destination so this is my destination all right so now in the same way i'll come here to sales okay i'll enable the action when i enable the action i have to go with the page navigation and what i have to go i have i have to go back to home where my sales is visible so now let's see whether this is working or not okay i hope it should work so when i'm clicking on sales okay my profit page is visible when i'm clicking on profit my sales page is visible or profit page is visible okay so this is how we can use a button where we can create a bookmark page navigation and enable one action so now what i'm trying to do is that i would like to show you how we can create a toggle button okay one of the interesting features that uh, we have it in power bi as well so for this what i'm doing is that i'll go here okay and i'll take a blank button okay i'll take a blank button so in this blank button okay i'll go to the button style okay and uh, let me change the rectangle to rounded rectangle okay so text i would like to add it i'm just clicking on windows and semicolon so when i click on this windows and semicolon i am getting some gifs okay so i'm getting some emojis as well so whichever emoji you would like to have or if you would like to have some button or some dot something like this that also you could like to you know search for it yeah you can search for it it is purely up to you so let me go and find some interesting emoji uh, that will be helpful or a small black dot that will be helpful for my toggle so here i have a button okay i have a black circle i'll just click on this black circle okay as you can see that we have got a black circle now what i'm trying to do i'll make it a little bit bold all right so this is the point that where we have to align it if you would like to increase the size of this you can happily increase the size of it okay i have increased the size and i'll align it to the vertical okay and this is something and if you would like to still increase the size yes you can increase the size like this okay so now as you can see that we have got one interesting feature so now what i'm going to do i'm just you know changing the background color i'm making the background color much more effective and interesting so that i have to select it here so all right so as you can see that i have selected this button okay so i have made a button i have added some uh, you know a interesting dot here okay i have added the button style now if you would like to have some action for it if you would like to switch it on switch it off so that action also you can enable to this one and there are multiple such interesting features you know that we can do with this toggle button as well so if i would like to enable this one you know you can on it okay if you would like to on it so the particular dot it will highlight it that we will uh, try to learn it in our upcoming videos so my dear viewers in this video we have learned how to create a button how to add a bookmark how to enable the action for a button in power bi thank you for choosing nahav academy as your source for it knowledge we are always here to help you to navigate the tech world if you have any questions do not hesitate to reach out it's been a pleasure sharing this information with you stay curious and keep learning